Okay, so in this video, I wanted to uh, show you how to uh, edit web pages in SharePoint um, and utilize the edit mode. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the page that we want to edit. We're going to go to who we are, we're going to go to departments, we're going to go to HR, and we're going to uh, make some updates to this page uh, for demonstration purposes. So. Uh, all we need to do here is we get to the page and we're going to hover over the edit button, click on it, and now we are in edit mode. Okay, so you see how the screen is changed here. Okay, so you can see these little plus signs here. You can see that if you hover over um, these different content sections, they'll be outlined. That means you can select them. Okay, so let's go ahead and just for instance, we can just add a little text here. And we can just make a change to this text block. Okay. All right. Uh, next thing is I can show you how to change. Oh, let's take this image. We can change that real quick. So we're going to click on the, um, the image. And then we're going to click on Edit Properties. A little sub menu will come up. You can hit the Edit Properties uh, button. And you can click on the Change button over here on the right. And you can select a uh, picture. You have all these different sources. Uh, right now, I'm just going to go to um, Stock Images. OK, so let's just type in Office. And let's just select this one. Click on insert and look at how we change the image. Okay, so just going to undo that. So we can come up here in the main menu and click on the undo button to undo our change. Um, okay, I think. Uh, let's see, so that's how you would change the content that is in place. So I'm going to just go ahead and undo this text as well. Keep, it, keep hitting the undo button until it's all undone. Okay, so that's how you edit the context in place. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to add a section. So if we hover over uh, one of these plus signs, um, it will say section, meaning add a section. Um, and you just click on it when you when you see that. And that's going to ask what kind of section you want to put in. Uh, and I'm going to say two columns. OK, so within this section, you can add what they call web parts. OK, so if you hover over kind of like near the top of the section, you can see another plus sign uh, with a horizontal line through it. So if you hit that, it's going to ask you what kind of uh, web part you want to add. So in this instance, we're just going to select text. And we're going to add a quote of the day. All right. So I don't know what's a good quote of the day. Let's see if I can find one really quick. Day. OK, this is a good one. All right, so we have our quote of the day. We're going to bold that. And let's go ahead and add a part, web part over here on the right. Um, let's just add an image. OK, let's click on stock images. I'm going to say something like staff. And use this image right there. We'll insert it. And there we have it. OK, so once I have the section the way I want it, uh, I can go ahead and save it. But uh, let me just go through a couple, you know, just some of these web parts. You can add all these different web parts here. Uh, 
quick links, people, images, news. You can add a banner, different buttons, image gallery, links, all these different web parts that you have at your disposal. Okay, we're not going to cover those. I just wanted to cover the basics, but uh, again, I just wanted to uh, show you what was available to you. Okay. All right, so let's go. Let's go ahead and save our changes. Click on save and close, um, and then we're going to publish it. So when you save and close it, doesn't necessarily mean it's been published. But once you hit the republish, um, the uh, the intranet will be updated itself, and then anybody viewing this page will see your changes. Okay, so it looks like it's our changes have been saved. Let's go to the intranet page and then we'll go back out to the HR page just to see if our changes have been made. And yes, it is. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, update the page again and get rid of that section. I can show you how to do that. You just come up here, click on the section anywhere in the, the white space of the section. Then you get your little sub menu and you just click on the garbage can and that will delete it. Okay, um, let me go ahead and do one more thing. I'm going to add a quick link here and we'll click on add a link. All right, in this instance, I want to uh, link it to a file that I can upload so that way when somebody comes to the page they see the link and they want to click on it and you know display what the document is we can do that in this case i'm just going to upload a picture of cap we're going to add the item and here it is right here so i'm going to go ahead and save it okay and if i click on it picture of cap will come up okay so i'm going to close that um, whoops. Wow, let's go back. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off that link. Oh, go back up. And we're going to just select it, the garbage can, and then we're going to save it, and we're going to republish it. Okay. All right. So that's kind of like the basics of edit mode. Um, and that is about it. So this will at least get you through editing the context in place and adding sections and adding uh, text blocks and images okay all right that's all i need to show you for right now uh have a good day okay <clears throat> here we are again um i wanted to show you a couple more things um Let's go ahead and go into edit mode again. We'll click on the edit button there, upper right corner. Okay, and let's take a look at the human resources team or the uh, people profile web part. So we'll click on that. And let's just say we want to add somebody. Say somebody joins the, somebody joined the HR team, okay? I'm just gonna put Shane Row and we just added her. Let's add uh, Tommy Albert. So we're just going to select on the, it's kind of like the, the add a uh, people profile uh, button, I guess you can call it. Uh, if you hover over it, you can just go ahead and add a name or email address and it'll add that profile onto your, uh, your web part. So I'm going to go ahead and add Tommy. All right. All right. So we've got Shana and Tommy 
uh, being added to the human resources team. So we'll go ahead and save and close. And just like that, Tommy and Shanna are now part of the human resources team. So you click on that and get their profile. Uh, there's Tommy. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you how to take them out of there and restore uh, the uh, profile, the um, people profile web part to the way it was. So we're just going to select the component and hit the X. Same thing with this component. We're going to hit the X. Okay, so we have that the way we want it. Let's go ahead and save it. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you was to add a news piece uh, to our HR news. Um, the one thing about that, though, is that in order to do, in order to give a user the access to do that, we'd have to make them either an owner or a member of the internet site. Um, but when you do that, they will have the access to add it, add it, and replace probably all the pages um, on the internet site. So we don't want to do that. However, maybe we can arrange some kind of temporary access to the user so they can add um, uh, a news piece and edit news pieces. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Well, I'll show you how to add, um, add a news piece or a news post, as it were. So I'm going to click on the Add button and then go to uh, News Post. So we're going to create a new news post from a news template here, from the blank news template. And then we're going to create on, I'm sorry, we're going to Click on the Create Post button, and we'll go ahead and add a title. Okay, we're going to change the profile here to Angela White, and we're going to change the banner picture to kind of office picture. Uh, right. Set a focal point. We'll do that. And we're going to add some text to the news. We'll just say comments on. We're going to go ahead and post and send. Okay, and that's pretty much it to the news piece. We're going to go ahead. And, we're going to skip that. Okay, so this is your uh, news article. Let's go ahead and go to the HR page again. Let's see what it looks like. All right, and let's whoa. Okay, there's our latest news piece. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll click on it. And there it is. Okay, let's go back to the HR page. And I'll show you how to get rid of it. So we'll click there. We can go to page details and delete the news post. Okay, let's go back to the HR page, see if it's gone, and we're going to refresh it. And I think it'll be gone. Yeah, there it is. It's gone. Okay, so that concludes this section of the video. Um, thanks.
and have a good day.